hey guys welcome back to my channel guys i know i've been so distant guys i've been extremely distant like to the point where like you guys probably forgot thought that i forgot about youtube but i haven't i've just been really busy i've been trying to put my life on track trying to put my life in a steady schedule because i work a lot i've been busy so i just want to give you guys a life update and a little get ready with me just you know little tutorial you know i know i haven't done morphe monday for like the past two months and morphe monday will be back okay it will be back once i'm literally on my like focus mode so currently right now i'm kind of just trying to get my head in the game y'all okay so i'm gonna show you guys this track real quick i would show you the hoodie but it's really i really just hung up but my hoodie stayed but you guys i got this track suit yeah this track suit right here i got it from tiktok like, I don't know if you guys have seen these adverts that come up on TikTok, innit? I swear the tracksuit was, like, £2 something. I was just like, you know what, let me just let me just see if it comes, you know what I mean? Like, one of those ones where I didn't actually think I would have it, but I was like, you know what, just going to wing it and see what happens. And it actually came. So, just wanted to say that tracksuit's nice. I want to get in other colours because I really like it. Okay, guys, so, before I actually start my makeup, I really wash my face and stuff, but I'm going to, like, use the wipes to, like, clean my face, to cleanse my face. So enriched with tea tree oil, peppermint oil, and witch hazel, one of my wipes that I use before I put my makeup on. My makeup. Right. Anyways. So I've done with that. So I'm going to get into my eyebrows and stuff. And we're gonna get into the chitter chatter. Everyone's life's a story. Mine started off decent, had a few rough patches. Now I'm full of God's glory. This life since starting to bore me. I'm choosing to rebrand, choosing to be more me. You ain't got to deal me. If, if you adore me, I grew up on people pleasing. Deathly stamp on the bullying, the name calling, and the picking and teasing. So if I let you down, you know the reason. So I'm actually putting my phone up at a different angle today so that I can actually see what I'm doing. And guys, I am wearing clothes, so please, please, you know, maybe I should change to like actually prove that I'm wearing clothes because I feel a bit naked, y'all. I'm going to go change. How have you guys been? I know y'all can't actually respond to me right now, but how have you guys been, guys? Honestly, I have missed being in front of the camera, in front of the limelight. You know, I have, I really have. But you know, sometimes when you have to focus on certain things, it's actually okay to like not be in the limelight and to focus on whatever you're focusing on. Do you know what I mean? Like it's actually okay. Like don't let anyone fool you and make you think it's not okay. Today is the 31st of March. Tomorrow is the 1st of April, guys. You know, I know that I believe tomorrow is actually Ramadan. I'm not Muslim, I'm Christian, Pentecostal Christian to be precise, but tomorrow is Ramadan and due to actually it being a time of fasting, I didn't plan to fast due to it being Ramadan, but I've decided that I want to fast for, you know, 30 days, a 30 day fast. So I kind of want to walk you guys through my 30 day fast, let's just say a four week fast, I'm going to fast for four weeks because... One reason, firstly, is because fasting is actually extremely important, guys. Like, in general, like, in terms of building a relationship with God, fasting is extremely important. Secondly, it's actually good for your mind, your body, and your soul. So, I kind of want to do that for my body. It's like releasing my body of all toxins, you know, putting my mind, my body, and my soul in the right place. And my spirit, too, because that's where it's most important, my spirit. But, yeah, so I've decided that I'm going to fast for... 30 days guys and yeah why i want to fast like in general like i'm gonna walk you through why is because like so as you guys know i'm christian born again and you know we're humans i'm not gonna ever act like i don't sin i sin every day and you know for me as a christian who wants to actually get her life right and follow jesus christ i feel like it's so important that i i like have to um put it in my programming to fast I have to make it 
part of my I can't say schedule but like my part of my process my my monthly process to fast you know I need to be in my stay in my word and fast because honestly I'm like at the end of the day yeah guys I guess everyone chooses their, their own path in this life but I know that what I want for myself and every single one of my successes and my achievements and my goals and everything I can only actually reach my full potential through Christ and I know this I know this guys because I've tried reaching my full potential in everything else but Christ it hasn't worked so clearly like not my last result but clearly the right answer for me is Christ because ever since I've given my life to Christ it's helped me to have a different perspective of life and I feel like this fast that i'm gonna do is also gonna help me to have a different perspective i don't know why i feel like my mind's gonna change a lot of things because this fast i want to be off of social media like i don't mean like oh you know um like i can't lie like instagram and you know youtube i'm still gonna stay on those because those are the platforms i'm trying to build but stuff like snapchat and all that i'm coming off because i want to like have 30 days of just you know like literally 30 days of being a different person being a new person do you get my, what i mean like i want those 30 days to myself those 30 days to god those 30 days to myself those 30, just those 30 days to like really reprogram my mind get me on focus mode obviously i will be doing youtube and i promise to be uploading more than 30 days because i'm not going to be distracted by anything else but as i was saying like i want to like reprogram my mind to get used to being used to working in a set y'all get what i mean y'all get what i ain't gotta say y'all get what i mean like this video will be out you know tomorrow so that's friday the day that i actually should be fasting do you know what i mean so when you see this that will be like day one of the fast and yeah we'll just see where i go with this because you know, I'm going to be sharing, like, um, the kind of the battles and the trials and tribulations, but I'm going to be sharing the challenges that I'm facing with my journey in Christ. And why I'm doing this is because I want to make, you know, finding, finding Christ so much more relatable and so much more easier for people to watch because i know that a lot of people believe that, you know, being Christian is hard. Like, it's hard, but, like, people believe that being Christian is, like, you know, you've got to literally be some saint. I'm like, da, da, da. come on now. Like, I'm going to show you that finding Christ and my journey in Christ, not everything's going to be roses. Not everything's going to be like, you know, not all that, not every, oh, what's that saying? Not all that glistens, glistens is gold. You know? So I want to show you guys, like, there's going to be days, like, I feel like people think, you know, when you find Christ, um, like when you find christ you know you don't get depressed you don't you're not broke you're just straight up blessed but there's more spiritual blessing than there is physical you know when you find christ and that's the point the spiritual blessing you know we can we can we can we can get into that in many more videos but like i'm saying there's more spiritual blessing than there is um physical yeah so guys i want to give you a life update anyway so what have I done in the past, like, what, two, three weeks, really? So, three weeks ago, it was my sister's birthday. Daniela, I love you so much if you're watching this. And we had an amazing time for her birthday. Honestly, I'm so happy that she chose to celebrate her birthday this year. Well, with, like, you know, her most loving people. Her most loved. I don't even know if that's a word, but you know what I mean. I'm so happy because... You know, I love birthdays so much and I think birthdays are so important. And I love when my people celebrate their birthdays because it makes me, you know, like we're celebrating your day and you're enjoying it. And that's part of the whole point of birthdays, to enjoy the day you was born. You know what I mean? But yeah, so really and truly, I did that like the first week of March. Was it the first week of March or was it the second week? I believe it was the first the, I think the second Saturday of March. <clears throat> now, where's that my face? Now, two weeks later, two weeks later, I didn't do anything the week before that. 
I'm supposed to be having a, a youth serv um youth service very soon, by the way, guys, where I will be presenting my talents. Me and my church, the youth in my church, will be presenting our talents. So I will give I'll keep you guys tuned in because I want you guys to see that. The two weeks ago, the week before last week, I believe it was the Saturday week before last week, I actually went to a gala, a birthday gala. For those who know who Donny is, I went to Donny's birthday gala. And guys, I had an amazing time. I'm actually going to show you guys what I wore. I loved it so much because, like, I like to dress up. And whether that's, like, really fancy dress or just normal, you know, occasions. And I absolutely love my outfit. I didn't really like my hair and my makeup. I think I should have chosen a better choice. But I absolutely loved my outfit, guys. I was in all green. I was looking so good. Like, guys, I looked so good. I loved it. Oh, my gosh. Like, I absolutely loved it. My outfit was so nice. The green was so good on me. I don't know if I can ever wear that outfit again because with certain outfits, you can't recycle. If I can recycle, I'll recycle. But, yeah. So, guys, this is the finishing look. My makeup looks so different to it. So it does I, the way I did it the other day when I didn't use uh, when I used Esther Lauder. So that's a confirmation that foundation makes a major difference. Okay. Or maybe it's the lighting. Hold on, let me have a look. lighting y'all <laughs> so yeah guys anyways i know i'm doing a lot right now but thank you so much for watching my video guys honestly it means the world to me that you guys have finally got here i'm gonna leave this video here at the ending because her girl's done and she gotta go i definitely feel like different foundations do make a drastic change though I'm going to be real because there's definitely like some sort of different aspect to my makeup. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment and subscribe. God bless you. And I want you guys to help support me along my fast, please. Please, please, please encourage me day after day if you can. Thank you so much. God bless you. Bye.